Hi, I'm Lori Zatelli. I work at UPMC in Pittsburgh, and I'm creating this resource for anyone who is interested in using the platform Qualtrics to create a survey that will collect all of the application data for AUD externships. So I'm going to walk you through the survey that I've created and just share a couple of tips with you. So this is from the perspective of the person who's created the survey. So I'm looking at it on the back end. Um, so I've already created it, so I'll just show you what I've done and you can take or leave whatever you like or don't like from what I've done. So for each question, um, you'll see that there's a text box and you can type whatever you want. And then there will be some items on the left where you'll have to make some selections to indicate what your preferences are. So I've chosen to start the survey just with some information to give people um, an idea of what to expect as they go through this, this process. So the first part of the survey is telling people who is appropriate uh, to use the survey. So this is going to be AUD student applicants, and it's also going to be someone who is uploading a letter of recommendation or introduction. And then I we participate with the ASIN um, timeline. And so I, it, I put that information here as well, just as a reminder. So you'll see that this text, um, this question type is a text type. And what that means is it's not requiring a response. It's just information. Next question is uh, information related to the deadlines and when the interviews are going to be held. So you obviously would change this for whatever is happening for your clinic as well. And again, this is a text question indicating that there's no response required. Next item is a reminder of what is required to have a complete application. So in our clinic, these are the items that we require. And then I always include a little reminder that if the application is not complete, it won't be reviewed. Again, a text question type requiring no response. Um, I like to include this as well because it gives people more data about what our clinic does and the activities that a person can expect if they become an extern in our clinic. Um, so this, again, is a text question type, but if so you can type whatever you want here. And then I've included a link that will take someone to a document. So this is just a, a Word document that a person can, can access. If you click this button that says Rich Context Editor, editor it will take you to a window where you can upload a, a link to a document. Um, so you can choose to do something like this if you want to. Um, and then this is where the fun starts because this is where the questions begin. Um, so this question is asking which of the options describes the person who's filling out the survey. So they're either going to be an AED student applicant or someone who is uploading a letter. So a clinical or, or academic instructor or a university faculty externship coordinator. Um, this is a multiple choice question and I've configured it so that only one answer is allowed. So they can't select more than one thing. Um, I've, there are three options because the, that's all I needed. And then I have added a requirement that they must answer this question. So you can force, I'll scroll up here a little bit further, you can add a requirement that forces someone to answer this question. And that's actually going to re be really important moving forward because this is where the survey splits. So if someone indicates that there's they are an AUD student applicant, there's going to be a set of questions that populate that's specific to that um, type of, of answer. And then if someone indicates that they are an instructor or a coordinator, they're going to have a separate set of questions to answer. So first, we'll go through the AUD student applicant questions. Um, and the first one is to ask what their name is. So I've set this up so that there is a display logic, meaning that if they select that they're an AUD student applicant, this question will show up for them. Otherwise, this question will not show up. So the next four questions, four or five questions or so, are all things that are all configured to only show up with display logic if the person indicates that they're an AUD student applicant. So first, I want to know their name. So I'll ask them uh, their first and last name. And then this question type is a text entry. So it's going to produce a, um, a field where they can type something. Um, I just need a single line for this because I just want to know their first and last name. They don't need a paragraph. And I'm also requiring them to respond to this question. Next question, I want to know what AUD program they attend. Very similar setup, text entry, required response, and again, display, um, display logic. So it will only populate if AUD student applicant is selected. I'm not going to continue to say that. So the next thing, the next three questions or so, that will all still apply. Next question is I want to know what their email address is, because if there's some sort of an issue, I want to, like maybe one of the files is corrupted, I want to reach out to them and let them know. So uh, I ask for a text entry question with a single line response so that they can 
um, add their email address right there. And then the last two questions in this section are um, questions where they can um, upload a document. So it needs to be a PDF document and I want a copy of their Vita and I want a copy of their letter of interest. So both of these are going to be a file upload question type and they do need to um, include a response to this. So I am forcing a response here. So I want a copy of their Vita in PDF format. I also want a copy of their letter of interest that tells us why they wanna to come to our clinic also in PDF format. Um, and then uh, I think I said those two were the last ones. I lied, this is the last one. We give people a choice whether they're gonna interview in person with us in Pittsburgh or if they wanna interview virtually on Zoom. Um, so this is going to be a multiple choice question only allowing one answer. There are two options and again, I will force a requirement. So they must choose whether they're coming in person or whether they wanna interview on Zoom. Um, if someone indicates that they're an AUD student applicant, that will be uh, the last question on the survey for them. If someone is a clinical instructor um, or an externship coordinator or an academic instructor, this next set of questions is what they are gonna see instead. So you'll see here the display logic. This will only show up if AUD student applicant is not selected. So this means they are, they've selected either instructor or faculty coordinator. So um, this again is gonna be a text entry response. I only need a single field because I want their first and last name. And again, I'm forcing a response as well. So I want to know the name of the person who's uploading the letter and their email address. I also want to know the name of the student for whom they're submitting the letter and which AED program that student attends. Um, for the uh, portion of the survey where they're uploading a letter, either they're going to be uploading a letter of recommendation or a letter of introduction. So this is just telling them how I want them to format the document and also, again, that it needs to be in a PDF format. Um, the file upload question type is chosen and I do force a response to this. Um, and then the last thing that, that anyone will see when they do this survey is just a little box that pops up that says, thank you for your submission. And then it just tells them to contact me if there are questions. And no matter um, which section they are in, they will see that response at the end of the survey. Um, and it's just telling them that the survey is over. Hope this was helpful.